is June 3rd, 2019. The DWR apparently is going to release the water through the auxiliary spillway. I guess the typical amount that they release. They're going to test it out. So they're moving a bunch of stuff around. I guess their trucks are moving them up, up past above the dam on the high end of it, I guess. And they're moving the, they're taking down the uh, lifeguard uh, posts, I guess. They're taking down the buildings because they don't want it to probably get sucked up into the vortex. So they're going to use the auxiliary spillway, which is formerly known as the emergency spillway. Apparently, they said they will only use the main spillway if needed. And I guess the Army Corps of Engineers will be the deciding factor when the emergency spillway, the gates will be opened on that to let out the normal 50 feet of water. So we'll see. And everyone's saying we're wackadoodles, people that believe the dam has holes in it. They're saying you guys are wackadoodles. It's been proven to be safe. So, okay, we'll see. You know, we'll see. If it's fine, it's fine. If it's not, it's not. We'll find out soon. We don't want 2017 to happen again, where the uh, main spillway completely disintegrates under the sinkholes that's underneath it, because the water is eroding eroding the rock. The bedrock is being chipped away and turned into dust, and I don't know what they filled it with, but because we can't see everything, you know, we're not watching 24 hours a day, we didn't see everything they were pouring into it, into the crevices and the, the uh, craters. We don't know. All we can do is guess. But I wonder what Trump, if he's watching this, Donald Trump, the president, if he's watching this, uh, how close he's watching it, we don't know. Uh, because he knows he's going to have to distribute a lot of disaster money uh, if anything terrible does happen, which we don't want it to happen. But I wonder why they're not letting the water, going to let the water to the main spillway. Because the water's already cresting, right? It's 895, according to their calculation, 894 now, I think, according to their estimates. But some people speculate that it's a lot more, but we'll see. I don't know how they measure the water, but it doesn't sound very good. And I, I'm just worried, I'm wondering what the farmers are thinking. Are they watching this live feed of the spillway uh, from the Department of Water Resources? Are they watching it? So are, are they worried about where they're going to release the water to the auxiliary spillway? I mean, how safe is it? Are they sure it's safe? to release the normal amount over that one? I don't know. 1.1 billion dollars though on a spillway dam and they and they don't want to use that until needed? Why don't they just use it? I mean if it's fine, it's it's good, then why don't they just use it and just let the water through, let the water through. That's what I say, just let it in. Or let it down, let the water down. Like the big, they, they, people were laughing saying it looks like a giant water slide or something. Because it's so steep, it's just, it's so steep and scary. It's got those teeth on the bottom. So let's go. So uh, they say the water's 894 feet, but I think it's dropping. I'm not an expert, but maybe it's seeping underneath the dam. That's why the water's lowering, and that's and it's not because they're releasing any significant amounts of water. It's because it's probably seeping underneath the dam. It's seeping underneath the spillway. The water's finding a way in. That's why we're seeing. The cracks on the side of the spillway, maybe, because the earth is coming apart. And maybe they're afraid to fill in those gaps because they think it'll add too much weight to the hill. And it'll make it crumble more, so they're being very careful about it. I'm not sure. But why is the water going down if they're not releasing any water? That's what people are asking. And then Lake Alamore. How much water?